Hi everyone, I'm working on a uh, truck today that the uh, catalytic converters came in, uh, stopped up, and uh, the truck was uh, really sluggish. Um, no uh, throttle response, and whenever I put the uh, scanner on it, uh, the O2 sensor readings, I could tell which cat was uh, actually stopped up. So basically what I did is crawl underneath to verify that the uh, driver's side cat is stopped up. And uh, I'm on the passenger side right now, I'm just going to show you how, how to check it. You see right there, you see a little bitty hole that I've drilled into the exhaust in front of the Cadillac converter. And I've got a little pressure gauge right here. So I'll go ahead and put this pressure gauge and put the end of it in there to check the uh, passenger side. And see how much pressure it's got. Go ahead and start up the truck. Okay, you see how it doesn't move very much. Go ahead and rev it a little bit. Alright, shut it off. You can see where the gauge is barely moved on there. And uh, I'm gonna go to the passenger side now. And be careful because the exhaust does get pretty hot pretty quickly. So um, these kits sometimes come with um, rubber or plastic nozzles on the end. If you do that, you'll probably melt the end up uh, pretty quickly. But uh, this is the driver's side here that is the one that I had already verified by computer that was stopped up. But I'll show you what it does on pressure gauge on this one. Go ahead and, go ahead and start it. Okay, you can see how much that jumped right there. Go ahead and rev it. You can rev it some more. You see how much that is. I mean, that's like a ton of pressure. Go ahead and shut it off. So that shot up all the way up over uh, 10 psi um, on it with a good cat. Um, you should be, you know, one or less or one and a half somewhere in there, but um, or not even that. You've seen how the passenger side moved and how the driver side definitely went up over 10. I mean, if you rev it up really high, it would peg out the. Uh, the uh the meter meter here but uh anyway i just wanted to show you how to uh to check it um also these holes right here uh basically i uh you can either take a tack welder and weld them up or you can get like a, a oversized or a big uh, self-tapping screw uh like a sheet metal screw and you can screw it back in there and a lot of times i'll get a uh a, a real thick um, hard um, washer and put it on there and it tightens it up without any issue so that way you won't have any exhaust leaks but uh anyway that's how you check to see if your Cadillac converter stopped up so on this one I'll be replacing this uh, driver side here and uh, getting the truck back on the road verifying everything's uh, working correctly after that but uh anyway uh, I hope the video helped you out today uh, thanks for watching, and uh, please, please subscribe, and I look forward to uh, making the next video.